Eileen Gray's story does matter, not just because of the extraordinary legacy of works of art, of truly thrilling, magical, inspirational objects and designs, uh, but it matters as a human story. And I think it's a f it is a fascinating story of one person, one woman's determined journey to stay through the decades, true to her muse, true to herself, and true to her changing times. She anticipated things in the design world, which at the moment, designers are still striving to achieve. The kind of humanity, the, the kind of qualities of daily life, the rituals of daily life that our architecture draws upon shows something to me about the kind of living in the reality of the world, but elevating that living to a kind of almost a spiritual extent. She's categorized in many collections as an Art Deco artist. Actually, she was never part of any movement. She was in her own category. She was doing her own thing. When you look at her work and you really examine her work at the full length, she was a chameleon and she did it with her architecture too. I'm not sure that Eileen Gray would be very pleased with us and how we live today. I don't think that we take the time to think about how we live today and I think that's that's a problem that we don't dwell much on, you know, is this the right chair for me to sit in or not? Uh, is it ergonomically correct? We don't sit in the chair long enough for it to matter.